Welcome back to Character Select, Dave, Deus Ex Human Revolution. This camera is zoomed in a little too far. <laughs> uh, but we are back to Seraph Industries. We've just gotten through the FEMA camp. And we have to go talk to David Seraph. But before that, Pritchard wants to talk to us. So let's go do that. Oh, right. He was in my office. Sorry, I was listening to what they were saying. Tech heaven. Haha. <laughs> you spelled tech wrong. Dude, I'm a literal cyborg. Literal cyborg. God, I love the music in this game. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've That's detected problem. intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarah? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, gentlemen. Okay. And this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something. And I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Interesting. Okay. So, Seraph has an unauthorized thing. I mean, he could do whatever he wants. It's his company, but it's still dangerous as hell. Uh, we do not have... Oh, we do have new emails. Yo, Jensen, welcome back, man. Didn't think we'd see you up and around for a while yet. Listen, can you do me a favor? I'm not actually in the offices these days. Sarah's had me working over in the temp labs for about a week now. But I just called in with, for messages and Sydney told me that a few people's offices have been broken into. Man, that ain't right. If you get a chance, could you take a peek into room 30? Just want to make sure no one's been in there messing with my stuff. Thanks, bud. Much appreciated. Access code is blah de blah So you don't have to talk to Pritchard. Um, you can just ignore him and go talk to Seraph, but by doing that, you unlock something that you, uh, some additional stuff that you can do. Can I hack this? Sure can. And nobody cares because I'm chief of security for Seraph Industries. I'm gonna hack this shit and you can't stop me. Uh, t -t 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 doesn't look too bad. My stealth rating is actually real good, too. Not good enough, but real good. Access granted. Anything in here? Yes! Delicious chocolate bars. Uh, nothing there. Why do you have a cactus in your office? Og Magazine. Apparently there's a company called Kusanagi. Money. Cal, I need you to head over to the temp lab for a few days to take the lead on Basilix. The, the damn implant should be causing macular degeneration this late in the game. Rossi can't explain it, and if O'Neill gets wind, he'll cancel the contract. Damn, I miss Sevchenko. So, I don't know what the hell Basilisk is, but macular degeneration implies that it's some kind of eye implant. My friend of Pike has just sent over two tickets to Il Metamorfoso, Metam Metamorfoso, and I ain't gonna use them, you want? Il Metamorfoso is the shapeshifter, I believe, or the metamorphosis. Either way, interesting. Are there offices I haven't broken into yet? Let's find out. Oop, here's one. Tim Carella. 
Tim's my friend. I've helped him out. He owes me. All right, so this one is interesting because there's two access points. I believe you need to capture both. Fortify, fortify. There's no data storage things here, so I'm just going to go for it. Yep, you do have to capture both. Good to know. Too easy. Tim, you got any good stuff in here? <gasps> you have money. Thank you. Whoa, you have a lot of money. All right. And some whiskey. I'll take it. The sleepwalking world. Wake up! Your government can follow you anywhere. DNA registration is the death of freedom. Population that can be tracked cannot be free. Um, disagree, but also agree? Kind of a complicated question. It's, I don't think it's as simple as that. Uh, hey man, I don't work there anymore. Pritchard fired me for messing with the IntelliCam footage, remember? So you'll have to get into our office and super around yourself if you really want to be sure. All I can do is give you our office access code, 5475, if she hasn't changed it. Uh, I'm out B. I don't know if Malik suspects me, but I just can't take the risk. I'm not stealing any more vials of neuropazine for you. Alright, so that was all about the stealing neuropazine thing. Pop that door. Pop that door. Pop that door. I mean, technically, yes, I'm breaking into these offices, but, I mean, realistically, once the doors are open, anybody could be stealing from these offices. Because apparently they don't relock, so it's not really my fault, is it? Alright. Interesting. 2300. Zero, zero. Huh. There's a data store up there. Alright, I'm gonna grab the spam to slow down the security filter. Grab that. Grab that. Fortify, fortify, fortify. And. Just needed that extra second. Almost had it. Oh well. Hey guys, what's up? Hi Adam. Um, look, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy nut job, but uh, is it true you found a secret government internment facility right here in Detroit? Maybe. Why don't we discuss the details some other time? Can't br oh, wait, yes, we can break into Farida's office. Ha ha! Oop. If you're playing on PC, you can also use the keyboard and mouse to actually type stuff in, but, you know, whatever. Ooh, hello. Thank you. Money. Stealing from my friend Farida. Uh, hey, Pritchard, didn't you fire Brian Tyndall a few weeks ago? I could have sworn I saw him coming out of the helipad storage area the other night. As far as I could tell, nothing was missing, but I think you should change the room's access code just to be safe. Uh, in the meantime, I have changed the access code. It's 8053 now. Might I suggest you delete this email as soon as you've read it. Nobody deletes emails as soon as they read them. Proper email etiquette. Thanks to things like Gmail, now we have terabytes of storage for emails. And the archives are for fucking ever huge. Hey, buddy. Hi, Adam. No, shut up. That's on a door. Ooh, where do you go? Do, do, will you get me experience points? You will. Excellent. Don't care about anything else. I just want the XP. Hello. Pep's energy pack. Okay, so a credit chip for 200 credits. Pocket secretary. 
Where the fuck are you, beat dog? Brandy needs that no pause. Ain't like aspirin. People can't die if they hold off taking aspirin. Got 15 minutes more to meet me behind the gas station, then I'm going to some elsewhere for help. Don't let me down, dude, please. So this is Tyndall's nice little hidey hole. Hmm. Interesting. Jesus Christ, they got fucking no, no pause all over the place here. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. That goes back up to the main floor. What I'm looking for is here. Yes. Really don't like that I have to keep using the uh, the ladder, but until I have the wait, what security level is this? Five. Jesus. Uh, until I have the Icarus landing thing, it's safer. Stun gun darts. A stun gun. Nice. I'm looking for one of those. Ooh, and an ammo capacity upgrade. Nice. Don't need the Typhoon ammo. Thought that was something, but it isn't. Yoink. Hey, you know what? I'll take the revolver. Yeah, okay. Boop, boop, boop. And ammunition count, combine, click, click. So this is getting there. Ammo capacity is fully upgraded. Damage output is halfway there. Reload speed and rate of fire are barely upgraded. Okay. Do, do, do. One of the things that I really like about Mankind Divided is that they adjusted the Typhoon so that it has an additional upgrade level. So you can still use the Typhoon, but as a non-lethal weapon. Because when you use it in this game, it's super powerful, super devastating, hurts people a lot, and it kills them. So if you're going for a pacifist run, it's useless. Also, something that was mentioned in the description for the last video, uh, I looked it up. Bosses do not count for non-lethal kills. So going forward, we will be killing all the bosses. Of which there's two more? Three more, three more. Okay. God, that skyline looks really good. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Okay. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do <laughs> not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. What are you getting at? I mean, there's no, there's no sense flying off the handle at this guy, as is. Um, he might be trying to empathize or sympathize, but... His dickishness doesn't mean I have to be a dick back to him. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart. But it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. 
About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. So for what it's worth, I kind of agree with him. It's not... A technology as revolutionary as enhancement technology, where you can literally have somebody take their arm off and turn it into a weapon, probably should be regulated. Um, but Taggart's an asshole. I don't like him. All right. Boop. Also, I love the fact that he is a uh, a Detroit fan. I don't know who the hell the Detroit baseball team is. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Hey, <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. <laughs> but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. He's changing the subject. He's trying to deflect. So, of course, you're right, and maybe Pritchard's paranoia is rubbing off on me. It's just that the timing seems so strange. Right before you hired me? Don't you think it might be more than a coincidence? You went behind my back on this one, boss. With all due respect, you hired me to keep this place secure, but I can't do that if you're not 100% straight with me. And then refocus. He's trying to change the subject, and I want him to not change the subject. So, yeah, you can see his psychological profile there. Adam, are we done here? Yeah, they'll occasionally sit there and do that, but... I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. The truth is... I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Tagger want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam, and I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue as we take this fight into the future, because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. And again, he's trying to deflect. So he's trying to use his authority. Um. Well, don't get me wrong, boss. I'm not questioning your leadership. I'm just concerned that the data you streamed might have been compromised, accessed by the hacker who attacked us. If so, how do you suggest I handle it? I see. <laughs> I guess I hadn't considered that. But I still don't know that you need to. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. 
to help this little family of ours survive. I love that he keeps playing with the baseball, too. That's awesome. I'm sorry, but... Uh... Um... I'm actually going to defend here. I don't know if it's a good idea. With all due respect, sir, I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me to do. The job you even brought me back in for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Especially when you start bringing Megan into this. Ah, she can calm down, Adam. There's no need to get defensive here. Doesn't do anyone any good. I can understand why the Ooh. mention of Megan's name gets your hackles up. She did break your heart after all. But the data I streamed was a routine, fact-finding check carried out after one of our many late-night discussions. And I don't see how knowing the content of it will make you better equipped for your job. Honestly, Adam, you're starting to appear as jealous as Frank. Just trust me with this one. <laughs> I would like nothing better love than to trust answer. you with this, boss. But trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? Adam, of course I trust you, son. And it's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that, honestly, I'm afraid you'll take it the wrong way. All right, look, the truth is... Success. I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look. I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. All right. So the way com social co social combat works, and that's essentially what uh, social combat right there, is you have to make them positively inclined to you, which is that little bar that goes up and down uh, up here in the screen. Um, but you also have to give them the right answer at the end. If you have a positive, uh, if they're positively inclined to you and you screw up the last answer, they'll still shut you down. So, it's very, uh, it's interesting. And you have to read people properly. It's really good. I love the social combat in this game. Let's go take a look at these emails, shall we? Whoop. Uh, I had a friend at the GeneView Labs run the test off the records like you asked. Does your suspect know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile according to those old medical records I dug up, but his dad carries no common phenotypes either. See yourself. See for yourself. Uh, probability of parentage, zero. Oop. Uh, Brent, it wasn't easy, but I finally backtraced some of Margie and Arthur Jensen's past through their medical files. Arthur Jensen had enough con connections through his old Desert Storm buddies turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is a ghost, but he couldn't hide Margie's records. For the period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then-employer, White Helix Labs, to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants since 14 and needed regular prescriptions. When White Helix Labs burned down, all of its files and employment records were lost, and the Jensen's stayed invisible mostly. Here's the thing. One minute Adam doesn't exist, and the next the Jensen's have themselves a, a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. That's when they pulled their vanishing act. So, on a hunch, I sniffed around some more, and sure enough, the Jensen's had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies, but Margie was deemed unfit as a parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam, and there's no real trail saying how he was placed in their hands. Hope that helps. 
I found Adam Jensen's SWAT, uh, psych evaluation following that SWAT incident with the augmented teen. Managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it. At least not yet. I'll be honest with you, the psych eval doesn't pray to paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for the chain of command, anger management issues, and potential P PTSD. Here's the thing. When you hired me, you said you wanted me to read between the lines, so here it is. The evaluation reads like fiction. I'm thinking a pissed off superior wanted Jensen off the force, had the evaluation worded to read like just cause. But most of the rank and file I spoke to respected and liked Jensen. They thought he was a real straight shooter even though the, uh, even though the SWAT incident soured his reputation a little. Still, even my source liked him enough to want to keep his psyche valve buried. So... I think he Athena quit. tells me you spoke to Saraf. Yeah. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarif spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> so that quest is actually not completed. Uh, that is the here. No. Current. Yeah, so that's actually not a... Not a completed quest. It sets up a quest later. But if you don't do it now, then... Um, you can't do it later. So it's important to do it as soon as you can. Maximum load, 963 pounds. Kind of cheap ass fucking elevator is this? Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon some weird or with some other top secret military project Cuts. I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. A lot of weird camera cuts here. I'm not sure what's going on. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. So there's actually a comic book based on this game. Uh, that takes place right now. Uh, between that conversation and actually going to China. Um, it's considered canon, non-canon. It's part of the official narrative, but even though it obviously doesn't fit into the game, it, uh, it, they're still saying that's how it happened. So it's kind of interesting. I've only read a bit of it. I haven't been able to find a full copy of it, but the artwork was pretty good in the first one, the first issue. But anyway, we're going to China. I will not be accompanying Mr. Tiger to the charity dinner tonight. I must head to Utah instead. Does Mr. Taggart know this, sir? Of course he does. I would not be leaving if it were not a medical emergency. Of course, I understand. I can't imagine what it must be like to willingly give up an implanted limb. Please, make sure Mr. Taggart is up to date, itinerary-wise. And I will rendezvous with you later this week. Understood, sir. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. 
Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet, once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropos independency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. Interesting. Also, for a parallel to that, smoking. Uh, climate change. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're going to love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city. And most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this going to take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry. We'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Any jobs that you haven't finished or any quests that you haven't finished before you climb in immediately fail. So. Ooh. Then Adam went to China. Also, I know I have a Praxis point. I'm just not using it yet. Because there's a limb clinic in Hengsha where I can buy more Praxis points. Because I have money, buddy. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. I've had an idea going through my head for months now for a cyberpunk story. And, uh, oh, she already took off. Jeez, thanks. Uh, and it involves a two-tiered uh, city, kind of like this. Still trying to figure out the details on it, but... Maybe I'll be able to figure, figure it out and write something. Anyway, welcome to Hengsha. We are in China. Ooh, new news. Darrow Industries offering substantial incentives. Uh, free augmentation as a center to join their workforce in Mammoth Pangea. High Arctic installation. TYM announces new cash stimulus for Pengu. one of these days. If that were the case, she'd already be in trouble. Between you and me, I'm starting to think Chan's afraid of her. Alright. Moving right. Wait. Uh, whoop. Taiyong Medical. Improve yourself. That's actually kind of not a bad corporate line. Oh no, don't tell me I left my purse in there with May. Hey mister, you think you could go in there and Pretend to be a customer? That might break up the fight. I told you, I am not getting augments. Not for, for this! Our customers would pay much for the services of an augmented girl. You can make a lot of money. Then tell customers to get themselves augmented, and they can go fuck themselves! A 
I'm sure some already have. Okay. <laughs> no! End of talking! It's too dangerous! I May, you have a customer. Get to work. You're not a customer, are you? What makes you say that? The way you move. Your attitude. And what's my attitude? Police. A soldier. Someone on business. So why are you here? I heard your argument. What was that all about? They want me to get augmentations. For the customer's pleasure. It's sick. I quit before I ever let them touch me. Sounded like they don't consider it an option. They don't. I am lucky, I guess. I've been here the longest. It has advantages. But the new girls, they're not so lucky. What do you mean? They are forced to get augments. It's very bad. One of the girls who work here, Ning, she has been gone for days. I fear they took her and will force her to get augmented. You seem, you seem like a good man. Sure. I am desperate. Please, can you help? I can pay you. Isn't this a job for the police? The police leave Lower Hansa to Bell Tower. And Bell Tower not care what happens if criminal pay them money? They don't care about my friend or any of the other girls forced into the sex trade. You keep referring to them. Who are they? The Honghua Hotel used to be independent. In the past, we had a deal with local police for protection. And because we ran a clean and safe business, they looked the other way. But then, things changed. What happened? Bell Tower become the police in Lower Hansa, and they not care to help us. So, a drug lord came in with all his men and took control. Things has never been the same, and we cannot do anything about it. Okay, I'll help your friend. Thank you. I knew I was right about you, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Damn it. Jensen, I fear this little time. You must find Ning before they leash her with augments. Leash her? Yes, they call it that. They leash their girls with augments to keep them so under just another by way supplying of drugging people. I do not know where they keep Ning, just that it is somewhere in Dagong district. A specific location would help. I tell you, I do not have one. But there is a bouncer here, Chuan Li. He works with these people. He will know where Ning is. He goes to the roof to smoke often. Look for him there. You might be able to convince him to reveal the place. Anything else you can give me? Yes. The men holding Ning. They most likely work with local triad gang here, the harvesters. If you look for some of them around, maybe you find Ning better. Got it. Okay. Well, since we're already close to the roof, let's go up to the roof and see if we can't find this Chuan Li dude. I think he's over this way. And we're going to start being a dick to people because it's funny. Save. Shove what? up before I shove you off. I'm here to see you. Uh huh. What about? Ning. Open the phone book. Plenty of them in there. Your friends are holding her. I can make it worth your while if you tell me where. Worth my while? Yeah, maybe. Let's see some credits first, the tough guy, and then maybe I'll tell you where to find her. So... Let's activate pheromones. He's an alpha. I gotta make sure she's okay first. She'll be a lot more valuable to me and you if she's alive and in one piece, if you know what I mean. I get it. Smart businessman you are. Okay, okay. I'll tell you. They're holding her on a small side street just off the open gutter in the Daigong district. But listen, I didn't say anything, right? Okay, cool. Yes, let's quick load. Because we need to be a dick. Adam Jensen, cyber dick. Shove so. off before I shove you off. I'm here to see you. Uh huh. Ning. Oh, you're f what? All right, let's bribe him. Here. Now, where's Ning? Okay, but you never heard this from me. 
They're holding her on a small side street just off the open gutter in the Daigong district. But they'll probably have a couple of guys there watching her. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Where could they possibly be holding her? I'll give this guy $2,000 to find out. Then I'll knock him the fuck out and get my money back. Fuck you, dickbag. I'm going the wrong way. I need to actually go down the Hangwalk Hotel. That place is psychedelic and creepy. Wait. Oh, you got a shotgun? God damn it. Can't pick up a shotgun. My inventory's full. Hey, uh, don't go around the corner. And if you do go around the corner, like, kick him or something. Thanks. Downstairs. Ooh. Hello? There's a bunch of stuff that we can do here, but for the sake of story and plot purposes, I'm going to not do it. This doesn't make sense to do it yet. I wouldn't go upstairs if I were you. Why not? Wait, don't tell me. Me and Edgar going at it again? Yep. And you know what that means. Yeah. Edgar in a bad mood. Shame, too, because he can be sweet when he wants to. I'm always amazed by what May gets away with. Well, she's earned the right to talk back from time to time. When you've been around as long as she has, you know, she practically ran this place before Chan showed up. Oh, give me the book. <sighs> Thank you. Yoink. All right. So here's one thing that Sorry. something that always drove me nuts the first time I played this game. This is a door. You want best in the drove city? me nuts. You come to right place. Look on computer and see for yourself. Drove me nuts that I could not figure that out. Like seriously. Uh, don't need any of these or these or that or those or that. Uh, sell that, keep that, keep that. Well, he's selling rockets. Does that mean he's selling a rock? Oh, you can get a crossbow here. Huh. I honestly thought that was... Maybe they added that in the director's cut. I don't know. You can just straight up buy a rocket launcher here. That's not cool, dude. <laughs> Alright, so we need the damage upgrade. That's all we really need. Fortune cool. and glory to you. Sure. Combine, click. Which means that it now is almost maxed out on damage. Which is great. Open door. Do do ba do boo. And now we're on the street level. Yay! Okay. For some reason, going into all of these back rooms gets you experience points. I don't know why. There's also this. Can I steal from this without being caught? Let's find out. Ah. Eh. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's try that again. Hey, I don't know if she's telling me to stop. Oh, I got tons of time now. It's good. We're good. Access Boop. Guess she wasn't telling me to stop. There's money. 
Also, I like to think that uh, Jensen's augmentations let him um, see subtitles for people that are speaking in languages he doesn't understand. It makes perfect sense to me, but you know. That's a door. Is that a door? That is not a door. But yeah, Hangsha always looks like it's night because there's a freaking plate over the city. Not that Detroit was much better where it literally was always night, but you know. Ooh, a book. Um, I want to say Hong Kong is a very important place in the, in the original game, uh, Deus Ex, but I honestly don't remember if it was Hong Kong or somewhere else. Pretty sure it was Hong Kong. Oop. I said hoop. Okay. Door. XP. Why? Who cares? Ooh. Thank you. Do 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 do. You are correct. Do, do, do. This is a very vertical city. It's quite interesting. Like the level design in this game is just is amazing. Like the sheer amount of detail they put into every kind of location to make you feel like it's part of a bigger place is is really cool. All right, so we got two practice points now. So. Good question. What do I want to get? That's smart vision. Don't need that yet. Dermal armor is very good for one particular reason, and that's EMP shielding. Uh, in the base game, EMP shielding is actually super fucking important for the second boss fight, because it makes the second boss fight a joke, and without it, it makes the second boss fight extremely difficult. Uh, in this one, it's not nearly as important. All right, so those would be good. That would be good. I'm actually going to get the Reflex Booster to take down multiple opponents. The Quicksilver Reflex Booster is essentially a supercharger for the human nervous system, boosting reflex speed and firing of nerve clusters throughout the body. The direct effect of this means that the user is capable of reacting far faster than a normal person in a dangerous situation, enabling him to, or her to move quickly with split focus to engage more than one adversary. So it's boosted reflexes, or wired reflexes, from uh, from You're in the wrong part of hell, Go back. Click. Shink. Click. Eh. Eh. Boom! My arms are more expensive than yours. Grab the... Don't worry, I'm getting there. New code for the girl's holding pen, 5377. Delete this after you change the fucking code. Seriously, gonna get us in trouble. Get your shit together. Uh, rating 2? I can hack that. And there's even a data node to make it worthwhile. Boodaloop. Leave me! Boodaloop. Boodaloop. And we're done. Hello. Who, who are you? Your friend May sent me. She said you were in trouble. Are you hurt? May. Thank God. And no. No, I'm fine. They didn't touch me. Not yet, anyway. You hadn't come, though. How did you find me? I asked around. I can be persuasive. I... I have to get out of here. Are you sure you're okay? Can you leave here on your own? Yes. I... Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I need to go. I need to get out of this city. I need to get away from that monster, Chan. Tell me. Tell her. Thank you. 
for everything. I owe her. I owe you both my life. No problem. I was hoping there was something to loot in here, but I guess it makes sense that there isn't. Thank you. Do 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 do. Wish I could close the door. Sadly, I cannot. All right, let's go back and talk to May again. Get us our monies. Do 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 do. Tourist, if you have business outside the nightlife district, please be careful. Especially of the harvesters. That's a good name. Harvesters, probably fine. Good evening, sir. Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe. Can you help me with this? <laughs> what happened? My God! Somebody just knocked out this police officer. Did you see that? Clearly, you did not. <laughs> Why did you punch out a police officer, Adam? Oh, I, I mean. I had battery power and a burning need to use it on something. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. Hanghua Hotel. Oh, he's actually over here. Mmm, low poly sexy girls. Not even low poly, it's low spr er, Low bit friggin' sprites. Jesus. Is it you? Not you. Another floor up. Do 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 Hello. Ming, did you find her? I did. She's safe, but running. I think she plans on leaving the city. She always is a smart girl. I'm glad. I will contact her to make sure she is safe. As promised, here's your payment. If you want more, I have another task. Something suitable for a man of your many talents. Are you interested? My interest would depend on the task. By now, Are you a I'm crime sure you've heard of Diamond Chan. He is evil man who feeds off the pain and misery of this city. If we are to stay in peace here, he must be taken care of. You want me to kill Chan? Yes, but you must make it look like an accident or suicide. There has to be another way to remove Chan from the picture without resorting to murder. There is. I have access to certain stimulants. If Chan was caught with them, he would no longer be a problem. Meaning I could plant drugs on him? Not on him. Somewhere in his apartment will be enough. He may be there, though. So knock him out, leave the drug, and come back here to me. I have a friend. He works with the police. I'll contact him, and he'll make sure Chan is arrested. I'll do it. Good. I'll give you the address of Diamond Chan's apartment. But if you wish only to get Chan arrested, take these drugs. Yeah, okay. Anything else? Chan should be alone. He is too proud to have... Got it. Mr. Jensen, remember not to cause any wounds on Diamond Chan that make it look like murder. Any suspicion will bring us more trouble from his friends. So no tranquilizers or peps, which means strictly hand-to-hand -hand submission shouldn't be a problem. That is good, yes. Okay. Knock this dude out. Don't shoot him. Not a problem. This mission is kind of fun if you decide if you're not going for a pacifist run. Because it's like, um, yeah, you didn't, you knocked him out and then you dropped him off a roof. So he's super dead. <clears throat> but it looks like he just fell after falling unconscious by being punched in the face. I love this game. All right. You know, that's an amazing view of a cityscape on the rooftop. It's just underneath the Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, he tells you about pe- places that sell stuff. That's fine. We're going to go to the next district. So, uh, unlike Chicago, this area has... Or this hub, because this is another hub, has two distinct districts. And that drives me insane. Because I can never remember what's in one side and what's in the other. Hmm. Nice place, King Shepard. Friendly people. Do, do, do. So we're going to do this Diamond Chan thing first, because, you know, it's right here. Do I have enough speed to jump over this? Hmm. I actually don't know if I do. I could, this could be dangerous. Oh, made it. Cool. So this is Diamond Chan's apartment. Sure is. Okay. You're a nice guy. Dick. Oh. So, you can literally just drop him off the roof. Grab him, pull him in, drop him off the roof. Or, do do. Oh, I'll take that. I haven't seen a revolver yet. I don't think he has anything worth looting. It never hurts to check. He does not. Alright. So now we just need to go back to Maine. That quest is done. Easy peasy. In the meantime, though, we're close to the Hangshaw Gardens, so might as well go there while we're at it. Hup. Hmm, starting to think I should have gotten that jumping augment so I could get around here a bit easier. Oh. Easy enough. So, you can find this out if you... I uh, know. You can find this out if you pay attention. Basically, this is Hangshaw Court Gardens. There's bell tower everywhere, and they're not letting anybody in. Um, you know what? Let's actually go and talk to them. Oh, I really should get out in the Icarus implant. Activated. Ow. Do do do. Hmm. I wonder where that goes. Anyway, you a door? No, not a door. All right. Sorry, pal. No one's allowed in right now. Don't get pushy, man. I'm running out of patience. Don't get pushy, man. I'm running out of. So yeah, can't get in. Unless you're Adam fucking Jensen. And not concerned with propriety. Hop. Do, 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 do. Now, of course, Bell Tower has this place locked down. They're waiting for me to show up. Supposedly. Alright. Not sure why that's just sitting there. Kind of weird. Huh. 
Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. All right. Okay, super heavy. Not quite as heavy, that's fine. Door. All right. Uh, next time on Character Select, we're going to infiltrate the Hangsha Court Gardens. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. Welcome to China, uh, where civil liberties are at best a guess. <laughs> it's probably fine. Also, Adam, you need to like curb your kleptomania just a little bit, please. It's getting a little disturbing. God, there's so many people down there. Jesus.